this is Pop 2, and this is Pop 2 Teaches. And today, we're going to cover tracing. I was submitted a question by Awesome Black Dude, and as you can see here. And he wanted to know, where's my tutorial on tracing? Well, first of all, I want to thank Awesome Black Dude. I want to thank all of you who have written comments and asked questions. I like to answer them. Hey, as a reminder, episodes 39, 40, and 41 of the 33149 have been uploaded. Each of these videos contain animation that was created with Anime Studio Pro version 8. So, I'm going to waste no further time and we're going to get right to it. When we start the program up, this is your default startup file and you have Dexter on your screen. And the first thing I want to mention is that the tracing tutorial is going to be somewhat incomplete. The things you're going to want to know answers to probably will include how you get images into your computer. Okay? But I'm not going to cover that. I'm just going to cover the software and how the tracing program works. But before I do that, you need to have an image file on your computer. Now the way you get that you can get one of those bamboo drawing apparatuses or some other sort of you know drawing devices that will input whatever you're drawing or you could take a photograph or you can use your scanner if you have one of those and whatever way you get an image file onto your computer you need to save it in a place where you can access it and the first thing you're going to do create a new file I'm going to get rid of Dexter don't need him and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to over the layer section I'm just going to add quickly like four layers I like to just add a couple layers the first layer I'm going to call that test all right so I've created my test layer it helps me keep from being confused I'll go over that at another time anyhow I create a test layer I'm gonna go over to the upper left hand area I'm gonna create a name for this file and this file we're gonna call Sun to traced. Sun 2 is one of the characters in the 33149. I used the character wizard to create his original form, but I'm going to use the tracing program to help me create a better rendition of Sun 2. Now what I already have in my computer are a couple variations of Sun 2. Click on the menu titled File, and we're going to go down to Import. We're going to scroll down to Image. Okay, click on image, and again, your files ought to pop up. And I'm going to import this one. An image file will appear in the layer section over here in the upper right. We've got our image in place. I'm going to increase the image size a little bit because I'll do that. All right, you can do that. Top bars here, we're going to go back up to the top. We're going to click the one called draw. Draw. There you go. And the only thing that you'll see highlighted is trace image click on trace image you have three options here at the top the little buttons you can click the black and white button and click the color button you see that it re retains lots of the colors and if you want to get more of the colors you, you just take this number of color scale and slide it from one direction to the other you can also get more or less detail when you do this the other one's photo edge and that's what happens with photo edge and again you can slide the bar back and forth and just like with any other aspect of this program if you're not, you're not familiar with it tinker with it for a while get yourself used to it this is pretty simple you've got these three choices you get some slider bars you can, you can fiddle around with them once you decide what you want it's pretty simple you just click the OK button and presto bamo you have a traced image So that's pretty much it. All right? If you have any questions or concerns or comments about this video, or if you have any other questions or concerns about Anime Studio Pro in general, please submit them and I'll do my best to get back in a timely manner and put a tutorial if necessary if I can't answer you sufficiently via a reply. So until next time, Pop2 teaches.